All right, welcome back. Here we go. We're gonna go for this flute now, which this one just has the matsu tree and an ume plant on it. So you get a little bit of that um, color in the in the ume tree with the blossoms there at the bottom. But it's mainly just the uh, the large um, matsu tree on here. The top is the is kinko to you. It looks a little bit rougher than the uh, than the other ones. Looks like there's definitely something on top of it to keep it um, in place. Very thin. I'm guessing this one's also looks like a uh, plastic and something really just a thin piece on it on top. And actually, this one might even just be painted on. <laughs> it's just the painted of the of the Udushi. Whole placement is looks looks better on this one, not too close to a node. Um, the the pitch on this one's just a, a little bit weirder. Uh, you got to be careful with the row. <laughs> Like all the other notes, as long as you just lower the row a little bit, it's nice. So we're just gonna give it the, uh, the normal play as we always do, with uh, starting with it's, uh, Itsuki no Komori Uta. See how like that row can kind of get sharp kind of easily so it might just need to be opened up just like around here or probably here it needs to just be opened up a little bit more and then that would have the row just a little bit lower or even opening up this end it actually looks like it's been opened up a little bit already so just a little bit more and you've got that row um, singing in the right pitch this one didn't really strike me as much as a huge Home Kyoku flute. I haven't really played it uh, any Home Kyoku on it yet, so I thought I'd just try a little bit of Honshidabe since it's the first time playing it. <laughs> Yeah, so if, there, if the row is fixed and it opens up, I can see this being a lot better of a flute, just because I have to play a little bit lower on it. That's where I want to be on it. But it's that, and it's not that hard. Actually, I can fix it myself. Um, yeah, and the it is very wide bore. Actually, you can kind of like see right down the middle of the flute. Like, hold on, see if I get it angled right here. Boom, you can see all the way through the opening there. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's a nice color. It's kind of keeping in line with a lot of the other ones. I don't think the color is as interesting on this one, though. 
definitely not as interesting um but it does have that warmer and softer it, it maybe it's more of like a um you know it, it just does soft sounds that's what you do on this flute it's just a soft sound flute you play um maybe even like something just like echo or uh Maybe even Honshirabe or Banshiki or a Daiwagaku, but the entire thing is just more. You know, very, very soft in general. You know, you never break like a mezzo piano and, and the exciting parts are like mezzo forte at most. And that's going to be a rarity. So, but this is the flute. Um, again, I still think I got really lucky because <laughs> when I first saw them, I thought, yeah, these flutes are maybe not going to be that good at all uh but it's going to be interesting reviewing them but here they are they're a lot better than i thought so uh i'm going to be making uh two more uh videos of these of these flutes um and then um then i'm done with this series and then we'll wait until we see what what comes in this house next <laughs>